What's up guys, David here and today I'm going to give you 5 tricks and tips on Sonar Platinum. Now as you've probably noticed, Sonar Platinum is my DAW of choice and even though I've been using it for 4 or 5 years now, I'm always finding new things and I'm constantly introducing into my workflow. So today, and for hopefully multiple videos later on, I'm going to be giving you 5 tips and tricks and basically 5 of my favorite things about Sonar Platinum. Now before we jump into it today, all of these 5 tips and tricks are available in Sonar X1, X2, X3, and Sonar Platinum. So as long as you have any one of those 4 versions, you're able to use all of these. So believe it or not, I did not know that you could copy plugins in Sonar until about a year ago. And up until then, I would manually copy each setting in the plugin between tracks. And it was really annoying and super time consuming. So here's how you do it. So let's take these two tracks for example. I have gain reduction on this high screams track and I don't have it on this high dub track. So here's what it sounds like. So I want to copy gain reductions from this high screams to the high dub because I really love how it sounds. And how I'm going to do it is you're going to hold control first and you're going to left click on this gain reduction. So you can drag it around just like this. You're going to drag it over to the track you want to paste it on and then just let go. And now you can see on this high dub track, gain reduction is copied and it's the exact same settings as what you see on the high screams track. So now, here's what it sounds like. And that's it. So track grouping is a feature that allows you to make changes to multiple tracks at the exact same time. Now the way to start this is to start by selecting the tracks you want to include in your group. So I'm going to click and drag and select guitar left and right. Now the next step is just to hold control and make the changes. So as long as you're holding control it will make those changes to both tracks at the exact same time. Now you can also put as many tracks as you want into this group. I don't believe there's a limit to this. This works on mute, this works on solo, on record. Everything inside this channel will work. And it also works for everything inside of the Pro Channel, so you can make changes to your EQ at the same time. You can make changes to your tube, your console emulator, your compressor, whatever it may be. As long as it's in the Pro Channel or the regular channel, it will work. Now the one thing it does not work on are the effects inside the effects bin. So it does not work on third party plugins, but regardless, it's an extremely useful tool. And overall, it'll just save you a lot of time and make your mixing experience a lot easier. So effects chain presets, I think, are absolutely genius on Sonar's end. They've created a function that can take multiple plugins and put them into one simple to use interface, exactly like what you would see in a CLA type plugin. And you'll know exactly what I mean once you actually see it for yourself. So let's take this uh, main scream track. I just want to do some general processing to the vocal, but first we're going to play it with no processing at all. So there's nothing on it. It definitely needs some, some work. So we're going to go into the effects bin. And instead of going to audio effects, we're going to go to effects chain presets. Now here's all your options that you have to choose from. But we're going to go straight to vocals for now. And let's try this lead vocal male one. Um, so exactly what I meant by the CLA type interface is you have all these settings that are just crunched down to one knob. So you have tighten, gain, brighten, fatten. Uh, and it's just a really simple, easy to use uh, interface. So at the bottom it'll show you that this plugin is made of this uh, Sonatus compressor, VX64 vocal channel, TL64 tube leveler, and then the Sonatus equalizer. So let's try this out and see what kind of results we get. So right off the bat, and very quickly, we got some great results from this, and it's stupid easy to use. So let's go back into the presets, and oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's see what else I have for vocals. Um, this is interesting. I've never used it, and we're going to see what it does. Okay, that is sick, and I will definitely be using that. Um, 
that that is so cool I've, n I've never used that before so let's go back and just show you all the other stuff they have they have presets for the pro channel modern presets um, which is just I mean it's modern stuff that's it but also they have amp sims that come with sonar now obviously it's not going to be like what you get with bias or or pod farm or something like that I don't know whatever you use but they come with the program and you use them just like a regular amp sim and that's something that you don't have to pay extra money for that's the beauty of this stuff because while you think you might have used all the plugins in sonar you have all these effects chain presets which essentially doubles the plugins that ship when you get sonar so definitely take a look through these definitely try them out there's some great stuff in here that i use personally and i'm sure there's stuff that you would find that sound great and are a lot of fun to use so just take some time and go through it and see what you find now a quick side note on these effects chain presets you can actually make these yourself and program what all these knobs do and even design your own interface for it um, but i have no idea how to do that i might learn later on and if i do i'll let you guys know i'll do a video showing you how but as of now, I have no fucking clue, so yeah. So track templates is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's just a template of your track settings. So let's use this main vocal as an example. I love how this sounds. I love how it was mixed. And I want to use this on another song. Maybe you're doing a multiple song EP or whatever, and you want to be consistent. So what I'm going to do is right click on the track and save as track template. And this is going to save the volume, the automation, any plugins you use, the settings in the plugin, everything in the pro channel. It's going to put it all into a template for you to use on any project at any time. So we're going to name this one McDank Screams. So once that's saved, that's now available to use anytime you want if you want to recall these settings. So let's, let's act like this is a new project. Now I want to load that template for some vocals. We're going to insert track template. And we're going to click on McDank Screams. And there we go. So now it's in the project and it's the exact same settings that we used on the original track. So you can use that to keep yourself consistent and it really comes in handy and it's super quick to do. Really quick side note, you can do this with multiple tracks as well. So if you love your whole entire 20 track drum mix, you can put all of those 20 tracks into one single track template. So project templates is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a project template. And this is me more explaining to you one, how to do it and two, why you should be doing it. So let me show you how easy setting up a project is when you've already spent the time and made a template. So let's say I'm, I'm going to start a project and I want to use, I want to use addictive drums. So we're going to go to new from template. We're going to find the addictive drums project. So right here I have, um, addictive drums one or two. I also have the choice of a Drum Forge project already set up. And then I have the choice of a Steven Slate project. So let's go back to Addictive Drums. We're going to use two. We're going to name the file LLU Mad Bro. That works. So once the project loads, it's everything's ready to go. It's already done. All my drums are routed into Sonar. Everything is color coded how I want it. All my guitars are panned how I want them. And if you're anything like me, I am stupid, stupid picky with the way my projects are set up and how they look. So this saves me a ton of time. You do it once, you never have to do it again. Now, let's say you have, let's say I just set up this template and I want to save it. So what you would do is go up to File, Save As, and then you're going to name name the template. So let's name it um, chickens. I don't know why. Uh, and on save as type, you want to make sure you change it from normal to a template file. Now we're going to go back to the C drive on your computer and we're going to Cakewalk Contents, Sonar Platinum. So find your version of Sonar and then go into Project Templates. And here we go. We have all those templates. Um, so you would just hit save and you're good to go. Now I'm not going to save this because I already have a template made, but that's how you would do it if you were to set up your own. It's super useful. It saves you a ton of time. And if you're a musician like me and you have an idea, sometimes you have to record that as fast as possible before you lose that idea. So this enables you to just jump into a project and start recording. So that's it for today, guys. I'm definitely planning on doing more of these videos just because there's so much more I can talk about. So if you guys didn't know about some of these and you used them and you like them, or if there's anything else you think I should be covering, let me know down in the comments. But as always guys, don't forget to subscribe, there's new videos every single week and you're definitely not going to want to miss any of the content. 
So thank you for watching. My name is David, and I'll see you next time.